Hello guys, in this video we are going to see that if we are given with two images that is two stereo images or the left and right image then how can we calculate this depth map over here so this depth map shows you which object is in the front so here you can see this is a lighter shade so this is in front and which objects are behind so these all objects are behind so before uh, before going there uh, we saw in a previous video that this is the stereo setup and uh, here you can see that these two are our camera models and i have placed the two cameras such that there is only uh, the displacement of camera in the x direction you can see that there is no displacement of camera in y direction and no displacement of camera in the z direction so because of this uh, displacement only in x direction we get a very good benefit and that benefit is if you see the image formed by the two cameras of the same object so this is the image formed of this object on this camera and this is the image formed of this object on this camera so over here you can uh, see that in order to get the disparity that is the depth how uh, far is this object from the camera you need to know what is the x coordinate of this particular so if i say the disparity for this point over here this point that corresponds to this point over here so you need this x coordinate over here and this x coordinate over here so that is very important and you can see that the y coordinates are aligned so these y coordinates are perfectly aligned because the cameras are aligned in the y axis and only there is disparity in x coordinate because the camera is only displaced in the x coordinate so we just need this x1 and x2 so that we can find out the depth and we have derived that equation in my previous video that uh, how can we find out the depth that is the z coordinate using this x2 and x1 so we have seen that so now you can clearly see that there is an inversely proportional re relation if x2 minus x1 is larger then z will be smaller so for this lamp you can see that x2 minus x1 so here i have uh, plotted x2 minus x1 that is this disparity this is also known as disparity so here i have uh, shown all these x2 minus x1 for both of these images so for this area it is larger so uh, a lighter shade means a larger x1 minus x2 x2 minus x1 whatever and a darker shade means a small value of x2 minus x1 so a smaller value of x2 minus x1 means the z value is larger because it is inversely proportional so these are far away so these things are far away from the camera and this lamp is closer to the camera and statue lies somewhere in between uh, the lamp and the background so that is what so we are going to see how can we uh, estimate this map in matlab so first let us see what is the algorithm how can we uh, do that so in order to uh, calculate the disparity we first need to know what is x2 and what is x1 that is which point over here which points over here correspond to which other points over here so if uh, i say i want to calculate the disparity of uh, uh, i want to calculate the disparity of this point over here this uh, this can over here the edge of the can so then that should be calculated with this point over here so i'll have to calculate the x coordinate of this point and the x coordinate of this point so that should be uh, corresponding that is uh, should the point should be on the same object so for that we will have to use some window based approaches so let us first see that so suppose that i have two windows so of the same size so first i place a window over here and correspondingly i place the same sized window on the other image so now say i want to find out the disparity of this point over here this pixel uh, that is over here this red pixel over here right so in order to do this so this is my x2 suppose so this x coordinate of this pixel is my x2 and now i have to find out what is x1 from this image 
so which is this pixel that is corresponding to this image so for that what we'll have to do is first take out the pixels in this window so that is so suppose uh, the pixels in this window are like this 3, 5, 2 so this is a 3 cos 3 window say and the pixels are 3, 5, 2, 3, 4, 7, 1, 2, 5 and similarly for this particular uh, image over here the pixels are like this now what we will do is we will take the absolute difference of these two particular uh, matrices and that is seen over here so absolute difference means if it is 3 minus 5 so it should be minus 2 but since absolute difference so you just remove the sign and it is 2 so like that so I have all positive numbers over here and then take the sum of this particular uh, matrix that you have so this is the sum of absolute difference so you get 19 over here so that means that uh, this particular window and this particular window has a sum of absolute difference of 19 now what you do is now shift this window uh, to the right and again calculate the absolute difference sum of absolute difference you'll get a number it'll be something 19 18 whatever then again uh, shift it by uh, other pixel one pixel in the right and then again calculate like this do it for a particular search space so that is uh, you can define how how much uh, you want to search so you can make this 10 pixels so that is you want to search 10 pixels to the right or you can search 20 pixels so that is upon you the more this will be or you can take the whole line that is the whole image the more this uh, this will be large the more time it will take to run the algorithm so that is you are searching whether this pixel over here maps to which pixel in this image so that is the search that you are doing so if uh, if you can see over here this is somewhere on the line of this book so this can map somewhere over here so the sum of absolute difference for this position will come the minimum and then what you do is you record this x position over here so say it is x1 so uh, say it is 1 over here the x position 1 and over here say the x position is 2 so now x1 minus x2 you can do so that is 1 minus 2 that is minus 1 so that so accordingly you can uh, put that uh, value uh, in this formula and you can uh, get the disparity so this is the theory now let us see how can we code this in MATLAB so let us see how can we code this thing in MATLAB so first uh, let us read both the images the left and the right image so please make sure that you put the left image in A and the right image in uh, A1 so this is because uh, the algorithm that we are going to use we are going to search in the right image and we are going to go from left to right so this search thing is going to happen in the right image so if in case you change these things that is if you put the right image in A and the left image in A1 then the algorithm will not work so I have uh, made this algorithm such that the left image should be in A and the right image should be in A1 so please make that sure next we will need a filter size so uh, for now let's take uh, 5 so uh, what is a filter so that is nothing but this window over here so the size of this window uh, both these windows are of the same size so this window size we'll have to define over here so let's uh, at the first time take it 5 so this is a 5 cross 5 window 5 pixel by 5 pixel let me uh, debug the code so that you understand so we have read both the images a and a1 uh, we have this n <coughs> that is 5 so that is the filter size 5 cross 5 next i am using n1 so what is n1 it is pointing to the middle pixel of uh, the particular window so if uh, that can be nicely explained by this so if i have a 5 cross 5 window so you can see that the middle pixel over here this is the middle pixel so its coordinates are 3 cross 3 so to get the coordinates of the middle pixel uh, this is the formula seal of n by 2 so that tells me 3 that is the middle pixel so if it is a 3 cross 3 window then 2 comma 2 will be the middle pixel 
So like that. So n one has this middle pixel uh, location that is three comma three. Next, uh, converting this to double, taking the size. So make sure uh, the size of both the images are same. So that is also one thing that you should uh, see. So next, uh, defining how many pixels to search. So this is about the search space that I mentioned before. That is how many pixels I am going to search uh, in this right image. We'll see uh, this search page shortly. Next, uh, I'm going to show a weight bar. So this is going to tell me about the progress. How much, uh, how much has this uh, algorithm done completed? So it is like a good, uh, a good output kind of a thing, so that you understand how much the algorithm has progressed. Here the main loop starts. So to explain the loop, let me keep this side by side so that I can explain things over here. So for i is equal to n1, so i starts from n1 and ends at b of 1 minus n1. So b of 1, if you see b has my size of a. So this is my a and this is my a1. So size of this thing will be rows into columns so if you see b over here so b is nothing but rows of a columns of a and into three because this is a color image and the same size is for uh, the right image because both the images are of the same size so if you see i so that is going to start from n1 so this i is the uh, location where my window is centered so i will tell you the rows the row location of the particular window and j is going to tell me the column location of that window so you can see uh, since uh, my window is like this so it is a 5 cross 5 window so i will have to start my i from 3 3 comma 3 so because of that you can see over here i is 3 because if i start from 1 comma 1 then this is something that is going to happen so then i'll have to pad zeros over here and then carry out so instead of that you can just start uh, from uh, this middle location so that is also fine so you are going to start from here that is 3 comma 3 so initially i is equal to 3 next uh, same for j so if you see j over here the the columns uh, over here, the columns of this image are located, are pointed by J. So J will also start with N1. So J is also going to be 3. So initially I and J both are 3. Next, next what I'm going to do is over here, this particular thing extracts the pixel values in this window. So if you see C over here, C. So C is nothing but a 5 cross 5 cross 3 uh, matrix, a 5 cross 5 cross 3. So 5 cross 5 because that was my window size. So all the pixels in this window are there in C. And since this is a color image, so it has this R plane, G plane and B plane. So all the three planes are over here. So if you see C, so this is the red pixel values of this particular location then you can see the blue pixel values and then you will see the green pixel values. So that is the RGB of this. So C has uh, extracted the window of the left image. So this is a window that I have extracted over here. Next, now what I want to do is I want to search for this window. So I want to see this window, this pixels over here correspond to which pixel in the uh, right image. So for that, I will have a J1. So J1 is going to scan only the row, uh, the columns of the right image. Now I am going to search only in the columns. That is only in the horizontal space. The uh, this is because my camera was uh, displaced only in the x direction. So in the in the start of the video, I told you that my camera is displaced only in the x direction so because of that i just need to search it in this horizontal space i don't need to search the whole image over here so j1 will start from j so initially j1 is equal to 3 because i just want to see where this particular value is so this is starting from 3 
so this will also start from 3 so j1 is also 3 over here in the start next now i am extracting these values over here so this uh, this window is going to extract all the pixels that is in the right image this this particular thing and i am going to store that in c1 so this particular thing will uh, get me all the pixels of the right image and store that in c1 so here i have got c1 so in the c in c i have the, these pixels and in c1 i have this pixels now simply i just have to take the absolute difference of of c and c1 so that is what we saw so by this particular function i'll take the absolute difference and then put the sum into a particular vector so uh, initially this is over here and this is at j location so that is both of the j points are same this is also at 3 so j is at 3 j1 is also at 3 so we did the minus and now there is an array that is going to be created which is telling 51 so the absolute difference of both of these location is 51 so that is the first the first search next what we are going to do is now you can see j1 is equal to 4 so that is now this window has been shifted over here so now this this is the new uh, location of this window again we are going to see the absolute difference between these two things and store that in this sub so this is the sub matrix so we saw that the first was 51 and now we are going to store it over here in the second place so here you can see uh, initially it was 51 now the second value over here has come out to be 350 so this is a very big value like this we can continue so uh, we'll have to see uh, till how much has uh, has this particular thing to search how many pixels to the right i have to search so that is defined by this search a uh, sir variable ser variable that uh, over here so I am saying only search 20 pixels to the right. That's it. So uh, this this also you can um, choose uh, according to the image actually. So uh, mostly 10 or 20 pixels are enough to calculate the disparity map. So, <clears throat> so here this particular loop will go on for 20 pixels over here. So it will search, it will take this, then uh, calculate the absolute difference then go to the right then again calculate the absolute difference and go to the right so like this i will have a sir variable so let me run uh, for now right so now it has searched all the 20 uh, locations and i have this vector over here so this tells me all the locations where this particular thing is uh, the absolute difference of this particular window with the search that has happened over here so this is what you can see over here so here you can see at the first position only there is a minimum all other positions are very high so that means that this particular uh, window location corresponds to the location that is over here that is uh, the first position that is <clears throat> so this is the x1 that we wanted and this is the x2 that we wanted so we have got the x1 and x2 so you take the minimum so this minimum if you see uh, it will tell me 51 and i actually don't want this value i want which position so which position of the window was the minimum so that you can see in r sub so you can see the first position is the minimum so you so there will be an output image so in the output image at the ith and jth place over here put that value so this is the disparity that we have calculated x2 minus x1 so that i am putting in arc sub and i have created this output image over here and its i comma j value is arc sub so keep on doing this particular thing for all the pixels so uh, randomly suppose uh, for now for explanation suppose uh, i am in this pixel over here so 
so this pix uh, so my i i location is this and my j location is this so how will the search space go then the search space will go like this so it will start from that location where this particular window is take the absolute difference then go to the right then again take the absolute difference put this over here the second position put the right take the absolute difference put it in the third location so like this we will do it till 20 or uh, the 20 different uh, positions of the uh, window at the right image and we will see which is the minimum and <clears throat> that minimum value will go to the output so uh, there will there will be one problem the problem is suppose you are finding the uh, pixel uh, the disparity for this pixel suppose so if you see over here there are only say three pixels uh, to the right so after that the uh, the window goes outside the image so for that what you will have to do is you will have to <clears throat> uh, do this particular criteria that uh, you will have to see if j plus sir that is 20 if uh, that particular uh, window is going outside the image so then you you cannot do that so then uh, for that there is this criteria go only till the minimum of j plus sir or that the size of the image so b2 minus n1 so this particular thing b2 minus n1 where this center location will be uh, placed for the window so <clears throat> Uh, for that this condition is important if you don't put this condition if you just put j to j plus sir then there will be an error that is uh, the window has gone uh, the outside the image so for that this condition is important so like this you can uh, keep on uh, uh, looping and uh, let me continue so like this uh, you can see that the bar the this bar is updated so that will tell me that the uh, algorithm has finished and then after that close fw will close this particular thing now if you see the output image it is telling me the disparity so the disparity of this particular uh, okay so since we started um, right so since we started this particular thing from uh, n1 so you will see that the first two columns remain empty so that is okay because this image is 288 cross 384 so if um, if two columns or two pixels so two columns over here are empty so that does not make a lot of difference so that is okay and then we are going to see what is the disparity for each each uh, pixel over here so for this pixel the disparity is one 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 like this so you can see that these are the disparity values of the output image now if you want to see this particular image as uh, as this like this so if you want to see this image like this so for that what you'll have to do is you'll have to first normalize this because i am show will not uh, uh, give a good output at these pixels because I am show is trained for 0 to 255 uh, for uint 8 uh, data type and 0 to 1 for double data type so now sim since we are in double so what we do is we divide all the pixels with that search space so the maximum possible output uh, at uh, out output disparity will be 20 because we have just searched for 20 pixels uh, in the left and the right image right so we divide it by that 20 and now we are ready to sh uh, show the output so let us see the output <clears throat> so this is the output that we can see for a 5 cross 5 window so you can see that uh, it is quite um, nicely uh, telling you which objects are in the front so you can see that this lamp over here this is in the front so you can see that there is a lighter shade over here that means that there is more disparity value for this particular thing this object over here so that is what we can see over here next this this particular statue is a little behind than the lamp so that is you can see with the shade also if you see the intricate details 
so over here this nose so this nose is a little uh, ahead of this statue hence you can see these are a little lighter than these pixels over here so this is the output for a 5 cross 5 window now let us run the algorithm for a 15 cross 15 window and see what is the difference so let me do this 15 15 and let us run so like this you can see how much the algorithm has progressed right so here this is a 15 cross 15 output and this is a 3 cross 3 out uh, 5 cross 5 output so here you can see in a 15 cross 15 output the noise are quite less so this this noise is very very less but at the same time if you see these borders so these borders are not very nicely detected by the 15 cross 15 window so uh, you can see in a 5 cross 5 window this particular lamp border is quite uh, nice over here it is uh, quite nicely preserving the edges but over here it is not doing that because the window size is big so that uh, due to the window size this particular thing is degraded over here you can also see <clears throat> this thing over here so actually there are two things there are two uh, bars of this particular lamp so that is quite okay occasionally seen over here in the 5 cross 5 output but in a 15 cross 15 output that is almost gone so that is what we can see so that is the difference between a 5 cross 5 window so if you have a smaller window size you will be able to uh, capture some of the intricate details so these integrate integrate details can be captured by a 5 cross 5 window but that cannot be captured by a 15 cross 15 window that is a larger window but you will see a lot of noise over here so that is one thing that you can observe so that was all for this particular stereo disparity video i hope you liked uh, the video thank you so much for watching thank you